What's going on guys? North Carolina Rifleman here with another uh, tabletop review. This tabletop review I'll be doing a uh, coverage on my Mossberg 590. Uh, this one in particular is just the Mossberg 590. It's not the A1 or anything. Um, it's just a 7 shot, uh, 6 plus 1. Um, I'll go ahead and demonstrate it's clear and safe to handle. Nothing in the chamber, nothing in the magazine tube. This gun is safe to handle. There is some light ammo here in the side saddle, but you know, if it's on the side saddle, I'm not gonna load it at any point in this video. So yeah, just so you know. Safety's on, it's good to go. All right, let's get to it. So the idea behind this shotgun here is home defense obviously as you could already tell by the weapon light and just the way it's set up with the side saddle here um i didn't get the shotgun built like this i bought it just bare bones it had the regular mossberg stock and you know handguard here but i uh, there's some it's gone through some changes here and there um i did used to have a different um handguard for it which was the magpul moe Handguard here for Mossberg 500, 590, and um, I liked it. The only thing I didn't really like about it was that, you know, I had a what is it a a Streamlight TLR one on this set up with just a little Picatinny M lock mount that I had on the side, but it looked kind of funny to me. So you know, I wanted to go with something a little bit more rugged that's built into the handguard. So I went with the Streamlight uh, TL Racker, and um, yeah, it works really good. Um, Surefire makes something for this gun as well, but you know, for the price, you know, I bought this for about 140 bucks maybe um, a few years back, and it works phenomenal, man. I mean, it helps you get a pretty good grip on the handguard here, so your hand doesn't go forward. I mean, I don't know why your hand will go forward, you know, well, you should, you know, definitely get a good grip of the handguard when firing a shotgun. But I don't know, it's just a nice little thing that it has this indent here, that which just kind of helps keep your, you know, hand in that position. Kind of works like a hand stop in a way, you know. Except that rather than pulling back in the hand stop, you're pushing forward, which is what you want to do when you're firing a shotgun, right? So to mitigate recoil, you pull forward on the handguard and back on the grip here into you, right? So that really helps mitigate recoil when you fire a weapon like this. So, yeah. Um, I did just have a heat shield in there, on here as well, but um, you know, I figured I'm not ever gonna really shoot the hell out of this gun, you know, to the point where I'm gonna burn myself. Plus, you know, if you're firing a, any gun, you know that the barrel's gonna get hot, so you should probably avoid contact with it, right? Um, yeah, so right back here, I have the Magpul, um, SG, SGA, um, stock here. This is by far my favorite stock for, um, this shotgun. Um, I like the angle. It has a little bit more of a more relaxed angle here where you grab a hold of with your firing hand. And uh, you could literally like one hand this if you needed to because of how good this grip is, you know. And um, yeah, you know, the fact that this thing has a lot of you know, adjustment you could do to it, you know, really works great. I preferably like a little bit shorter, but um, this stock here comes with spacers. So you could make this, you know, get a, a longer length of pull. So, you know, it's pretty nice. The butt pad is pretty thick. So it really helps cut down on some recoil when shooting, you know, hot rounds through this. And um, yeah, uh, go ahead and move on to the side saddle here. The side saddle that I have on this gun is a, uh, I believe it's called the S-Tac um, side saddle here, I believe. All it is is uh, it's just hooked up to with Velcro to the gun. Um, the the Shell, uh, shotgun shell card here was about 25 bucks, I want to say, from the website. But it works really well, man. I mean, um, 
it holds her arms in there really good, not too loose, not too tight, you know, so you're able, able to get them out of there fairly quickly. And, uh, you know, if you want to switch out the load, you literally just grab this and pull it back. And now you could, you know, put a different load, whether it's, you know, buckshot or slugs or whatever you want to put on here, you know. So it's a really good system. It stays on there secured pretty well. I have shot with this and the side saddle stays on the receiver. It doesn't fall off or anything, so that works well. Now, it doesn't come with the backing here that goes on the receiver. You actually have to buy some kind of um, commercial grade Velcro. Uh, make sure you degrease the receiver and just glue it, you know, stick it on there. And you're able to put, you're able to put the um, side saddle on there. Um, for the sling, I know a lot of you are probably gonna make fun of me for this, but um, I went with a one point sling for this shotgun. The reason why is because if you can see here, I used a uh, Magpul sling mount here that goes right in between the back of the receiver and the stock. It's like a little plate that goes right in there and sticks out to the side right here. I went with this sling because I, in a pump action, I don't really like anything that hangs out over here in the front, right? Like I did have a uh, Uncle Mike's, you know, cheap little sling swivel up here. And I had a sling that went all the way back here. But uh, I feel like, I mean, it doesn't really get in the way, but I, I don't know. To me, this is a lot better in my opinion. It's kind of like, kind of like a rifle, right? Like an AR or whatever. Um, a lot of people prefer to run a sling, whether it's from the back of the stock to right here, right where, you know, the upper ends um, or where the handguard starts, you know, at that point. So they're able to keep all of this front um, clear and it's just a lot easier to use. I find the same with a shotgun. And again, this is my home defense shotgun. So it's not like I'm gonna really be, you know, running and gunning with this or anything like that. Um, but, you know, as you know, to me, slings are very important on a firearm because if you ever need a use your firearm or whatever, and you need to put it down for whatever reason, you don't want to do that because somebody could grab it. So, you know, if you need to use it or whatever, you know, just strap it on you, throw the sling over you, it goes over pretty easily. You could always adjust it, adjust it to get it looser. And, you know, if you go in a situation where you got to use it and then you got to either, you know, grab your kid or whatever, then you could just, with a sling set up here, you don't want to hit your crotch, so you want to be careful. That's the biggest danger with running at one point sling was if you just let it go you hit your crotch but with this guy here you can just throw your gun behind you grab your wife grab your kid whatever you need to do and uh the gun stays on you so you don't have to sit down anywhere you know so yeah definitely works well for me and it's at a good uh it's at a good angle where you could definitely really jump in there and Use your gun if you need to with the sling on you, you know what I mean? Um, the brand of the sling, uh, man, I forgot the brand. I bought this at Sportsman's Warehouse. It, it was fairly inexpensive. I bought it for about 20 bucks, I think it was. But uh, it has a pretty good uh, clip. You know, it secures on here pretty well. So, and again, if you need to take it off, it comes off fairly easily. Just uh, undo the buckle and there you go. Um, I really like to set up for home defense um, because like the things I went over already, like as far as the, you know, the Magpul grip that you have here um, and the TL Racker weapon light up here really helps you pull forward on the firearm at the front. And the grip here in the back helps you pull back into you so you mitigate some of the recoil um, this is a 18 inch barrel uh, shotgun, so some of you might think it's a little bit long, you know, for home defense, but in reality, if you know what short stocking is, which is, you know, you kind of grab that stock and throw it over your shoulder a little bit, you know, just again, you got to remember it's a shotgun, so if you do have a hot load and you got to fire it like this, um, make sure you have a pretty good handle of it because it will come back and smack you in the face. You don't want to knock yourself out, so... Uh, yeah, you know, just again, just like anything else, you know, just practice, whatever, and um, you'll be fine. 
But uh, yeah, this is my uh, on the fence shotgun here. I did a video on this uh, some time ago, doing a review on the TL Racker weapon light here. And I just thought I'd go over some of the, you know, just go over the whole thing, you know, because um, since then I've added a, a new way to, you know, use extra ammo because, you know, shotguns are not like rifles, shotguns, they like to eat. So, you know, every time you fire around, you kind of got to feed it more because you're limited to what you could carry in these things. And, you know, the way I set up the side saddle, you know, I set it up to the point where it's... um it's there for me when I need it. So, you know, if I need to reload when, you know, it's firing rounds or whatever, I always like to leave two, the two front ones just like this, the opposite direction from the other ones, because those are like my quick reloads, I guess you could say. So, you know, if you're firing away, whatever, you run out of ammo, or if you just want to keep topping off the gun, all you really do, I'm not going to do it, but um, pretty much, you know, when your action is open, you could do a port feed, so you could just grab the round from up here in the side saddle, pull it out, and just throw it in the chamber, rock the action forward, and you're good to go. So, um, yeah. Um, or, you know, if you have the time, then, you know, you could always put up your shoulder and just pull it out from down here and start feeding them in the magazine tube, and, yeah, you're good to go. I mean, really, it depends on... On how you like to do things this is how i like to do it but um there's a lot of videos out there that show some pretty good tips so yeah again this is the mossberg 590 um not the a1 this is just a 590 i believe the model if you go on the mossberg website is the 590 tactical um it does have just a regular you know front brass bead sight so you know there's that which I think for home defense, it works more than enough. It does have the, you know, the bolts up here, you know, so if you want to throw a Picatinny rail and a red dot, you can. But uh, other than that, you know, this is a pretty good gun. Um, it's rugged, uh, it sounds really good. The action isn't too loose on these compared to like a 500 or a Maverick 88. Um, the military uses um, a version of this, which is the 590A1. I'm not sure they're still using it, but I know they used it for the longest and um, it passed their military trials that they, they do with them. Um, I'm not sure how many rounds it shot before, you know, with no mag functions, but hey, you know, if it passed the test, then it must be a good gun, right? Um, Mossberg, you know, they're good. They have a good customer service. Um, you know, I've had, I did have to deal with them once. And um, it wasn't something that was affecting the function of the firearm. It was more like a cosmetic thing. So when I had bought the firearm, um, the only thing I don't really like about this uh, shotguns is that they have a plastic uh, trigger guard, you know. Um, the whole trigger assembly here is plastic. And uh, the little problem that I had was that the front of it, uh, the front part of the plastic here might have been, might have been a defect from factory, you know, uh, quality control maybe. I don't know, but um, it worked for it worked well. It you know it didn't affect the function or anything. But I had like a little nick and it stuck out a little bit. And I mentioned it, you know, I called Mossberg and I mentioned it to them. And geez, man, within a week they sent me a new one, a new a whole new trigger assembly. I sent this back to them, and yeah, it was a pretty fair deal, you know. Um, really good guys, you know, good customer service. So definitely know what they're doing when it comes to shotguns so yeah you know there's that if you're interested in you know build like this if you have any questions about a build like this just go ahead and uh comment in the comment section and i'll help you the best i can and uh yeah thanks for watching i uh appreciate it